guys to Varsity TV my name is MJ and as you guys can see we are here at the UJ Austin Culture Center where we're celebrating our third annual Clash of the Band which is hosted by Music Society. As you can see guys I'm not alone I'm hosting with the ever so great ever so fun to be around Halala my man Halala 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 hala. thanks my man you look awesome by the way you know I've to that yeah bro it's happening it's awesome we're listening to jams we to different types of voices you know how beautiful African voices Ah, uh, by the way, please like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe, subscribe the video on YouTube to, to, to get the whole features. We love you guys. Thank you. So guys, without wasting any more time, let's go inside and check out what's happening. <laughs> Guys, you still tune into Varsity TV and you're still interviewing people outside the main event. And as you can see, I'm accompanied by a lovely lady who goes by the name of Matati. My girl, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, can you please tell us more about what you think about this event and yeah. You know, I believe that this event is one of, it's, it's very important for campus life because we've noticed that we've lost student life on campus and it's a great initiative by the and not by the arts center, allowing students to express themselves through culture, through music, through poetry. So I believe this is a great event. For me, it's really showing me. Like, I love the performances, I love how they present themselves, you know, how they take songs. There's a dialogue in the magazines, it's been modern and current, so it's really uh, Okay. Uh, I heard this is the third time this thing happening. How was the previous ones? Um, the previous ones were really successful. Um, I think. This year's one, the turnout is not as huge as um, we had last year. But the music this year is the quality, the sound is really on point. <laughs> Guys, you still tune into Varsity TV at the UJ Arts and Culture Center. As you can see, alongside me, standing with one of the most inspirational people of the event. Alongside you, we're chilling with Dumi, which is the deputy chairperson of the Music Society. Dumi, how are you? I'm alright, thanks for yourself. I'm good. You're looking so tired after such a successful a, event I'm, that's I'm going exhausted. on. I'm exhausted. You know, I'm so exhausted, but I'm excited. As but you're winning. I'm winning. I'm you're winning. winning. And you're unleashing reason. talent. Of course. <laughs> and as you, can, as you know, guys, we're still unleashing youth talent here at UJ. So, Dumi, could you please tell us a little bit more about Music Society? Well, basically, the Music Society, as it says, the Music Society is for vocalists, for instrumentalists, for anyone who enjoys and loves music. It's practically an environment for people who want to be associated with music in any kind of way, whether they're playing an instrument or whether they want to, you know, vocally explore themselves. Okay, that's really nice. And what I want to know is that this is my first time attending your event with Varsity TV. So I want to know, um, judging from the previous um, years, how would you say today's event is different from the other years as well? Well, the other years with, with, with music, the other years have based music, you know, American music. So um, with this year, 
um, people are singing African songs, you know, South African songs, South African classics, and as well are writing their own music. So I think in that sense, they're growing, they're, exp they're exposing themselves with their, with their own material. So I just think it's different in that way. We're not doing covers anymore. We're trying to grow people within the society to write their own things and to you know, explore their own things. And judging by what I've seen inside, it's actually very nice that people are singing homegrown and rooted songs here at UJ. So, one thing that I want to ask, Nim, which is your favorite group? Because I can hear each and every person they are rooting for all these other groups. So I want to know, from the deputy chairperson herself, which one do you think is your favorite? I think that's a tricky question. Honestly, they've all been my favorite because I've seen the processes that, that they've gone through, you know, with rehearsing, trying to believe in themselves, you know, competing against each other, and all the stress that they've went through, all the, you know, making friends within the society. So I really enjoy each and every one of them. They each, they, they're all different. They all have their different personalities. So honestly, I'm rooting for all of the bands. So for people on campus that want to know more about Music Society and want to actually be a part of such a great initiative, what should they do? Where can they follow you guys? And yeah. What they can do is go to Facebook, uh, the Music Society in brackets, mu.so. Uh, Twitter is uh, hashtag, or oh, is it that A thing? Yes, at. <laughs> at. Yeah. I don't have Twitter. <laughs> at mu underscore so. And they can find us around campus. We're always in room G36, and that's the Music Society offices. Or they can spot any one of us, and we'll definitely recruit them anytime. anytime. So for all you artists out there that are creating music and you have no sort of platform on where to start, you can start always by contacting these people from Music Society and just explore your talent and unleash your youth talent. Be good and stay tuned before the end of the show.